Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for being here. And this week I'm going to be working on a pour with a couple of bold colors and some italics. And as a full disclosure to this pour, I did ask my son um, which colors I should use this week. And he said, well, let's use some blue dad with some magenta, which he likes. And I chose the gold and silver coming up in a while here, but here we go with some um, random pours, a random puddle story with um, the magenta and the phthalo blue, which I really enjoy. I think these colors are great. Now, I always find that I want to make random puddles um, here and there on the canvas, but why not making a pattern? So here's my best effort at making a random pattern till about now where I decided to make it all symmetrical and equal. I also found that I realized right about here I didn't make nearly enough paint or at least not as much as I had initially wanted because I wasn't sure how much um, phthalo blue or the magenta I might need altogether for this canvas uh, considering I had both the gold and silver coming up in a bit but I can see here that my canvas is a little bit light on both the phthalo and the magenta. Now we did decide this week to go against my initial thoughts which were to puddle the silver on the outside edges of the pour because I realized that the silver looks really good and I would have wound up losing it once I go to the tilting portion of the pour so I decided to stack my colors which began to look pretty cool and I kept going through uh, with smaller puddles on top of the blue and magenta wanting to just be conscious of how much paint I was using because I wanted it to, to spread fairly far on this canvas. And to be honest, right now I'm actually fairly happy that I didn't go, didn't go with random puddles and wound up making this pattern that I thought was kind of funny to begin with. But after looking at the way the colors alternated with the silver and gold coming up on top, I was really pretty happy with how things turned out. I am also on a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas on this puddle pour and I've gotten a few questions in the past couple of weeks on how I mix my paint. Now the gold you see here is a Liquitex gold paint which I mix with about half an ounce of paint to approximately about three ounces of pouring medium. Now with gold I did find that I always have way too much left over at the end and in addition to the paint along with the medium, I do use about one ounce of North American Fulchrol. So here in Canada, I don't want to spend the money on Aussie Fulchrol, so I spend my hard-earned money on some North American Fulchrol, which I add a additive to, which is Penetrol. It's about two or three drops of Penetrol into my paint concoction, which helps create those real nice cells and lacing you'll see in a while. And also as for the phthalo blue and the magenta, my ratios are about one ounce paint to about three ounces pouring medium for both. And I try to use my medium to get consistency for all my paints rather than water. I don't like the way water dilutes some of the color and makes it a bit too runny. So that's just my preference. I do choose medium over water and that's how I like to, again, mix my paints. Okay, and coming to the end of the puddles here, I'm realizing that, I like pouring down on it, that I am going to be short on how much paint I thought I needed in terms of coverage for the canvas. And I decided to uh, just finish off this last silver and then tilt back and forth uh, with my puddles, kind of stretching, but also wanting to maintain a bit of consistency with how those puddles stayed. So I actually went back here and you know, tilted this way to make sure that I kept it even. Now as these puddles were beginning to level out, I was actually thinking of possibly getting a marble to roll around in the pattern to see what kind of nice little lines I'd get off a marble, but decided to stick with plan A and abandon ship on the marble. So that was going to be for another day and I was pretty happy with how these, these puddles turned out even when I stretched back and forth to again get some more coverage on the canvas. Now coming up on my first swipe I use Titanium White by Amsterdam as my cell activator and I use about a third 
um, of an ounce of paint to two thirds Floetrol and my one or two drops of Penetrol as my additive for my cell activating white titanium again by Amsterdam. Now I'm going through this paint very slowly and as evenly as possible to make sure I get good coverage with my palette knife and also to make as many cells and lacing effects as possible. And I'm also quite happy with the colors I'm getting out of this blend from the Thalo, the magenta, the gold and silver. I wasn't sure about how well the metallics might react with my base colors um, being again the blue and magenta but felt like they were doing their jobs here and creating some very nice colors. Now as I go into my tilting here in a few seconds, I'm going to pick up my canvas and give it a bit of a swirl because I want to try and feel where the paint is. And what I find myself doing these days is I am realizing after the fact that I don't take as much time as I'd like to and really should step back and kind of survey what the canvas looks like, where my lacing effects are, what kind of color blends I have, and from here I might have waited a bit longer to have this paint settle and then begin to tilt after the work. So I may need to just be patient with myself and learn to step back, let the paint do its thing, and then come back for my tilts later on. And as I began to get the paint moving around, I knew I wanted to hang on to as much gold as possible, so I was quite slow in this first little um, section here. So I actually just kind of went down on my knees to see if I could get a better grip on that canvas. Not so much, so I stood back up. And But again, I wanted to go a bit slower to make sure that I kept as much gold on the, the top as I could. And if you do enjoy this video and have um, enjoyed this content so far, I would appreciate if you could click that like button for me to help the content spread to more people who may enjoy it. And again, thanks for being here. And again, we're kind of our own worst critics when we see things back in time where I really do need to take more time to be a bit more patient with my tilts and really kind of reassess how things are looking. I really like how this turned out, don't get me wrong. However, I do think that I do need to step back on occasion rather than tilting one corner, then jumping to a second corner, then a third, and finishing it off right away, if I just took a bit of time and let things settle down, I may get a better result in the end, in knowing that I can get that lacing and those effects to go where we hope they go in the end, and making sure it comes out with a, a nice result. Now as I finish up with my tilts pretty soon here, I was quite happy with how things turn out all in all, um, I think that the base colors really did stick out well and that the gold and silver complemented the rest. And the lacing and cells I got afterward once the paint settled down was pretty amazing. So um, all in all, I'm quite happy with how this pour turned out. Now I think after looking at this pour over again, this may be one of my better puddle pours I've done um, since I began trying them. So. I have been experimenting with different colors, different palettes, different um, color combinations. I feel like this dark with the light worked out real well. And ultimately, I feel like it was, again, one of my better, better puddle pours of the ones I've done so far. And we'll keep trying. So if you have any color uh, feedback for me for what colors you may try next or what I could try next, I would appreciate those as well. And I feel like this may have wound up with a bit of a sci-fi galaxy feel to it. I do like the lacing that came through on the top here and ultimately I think that the lacing effects really made this pour stand out um, and to be honest I was really happy with how it all worked out. And as we go down for a bit of a flyby of the wet look I'll show you some close ups of the gold and blue which I thought were gorgeous and also the magenta with the, uh, the color swipe worked out great so really um, I was very happy with how the pour turned out and the lacing like I say is is my favorite so of all my puddles I believe this might be my favorite and if you have enjoyed it again um, please click that like button and we will see you again in the next one.